Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of the Unmatched Show Another Girls Under 149. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> Cutie. Oh, that looks good. I think, yeah, after this, like, all the girls have gotten their episodes. I'm so happy! <laughs> Okay. I mean, I think that's a good idea. Also because of the fact that we are getting towards the end of the show. Ain't that a sexy guilty song? Oh, 
you can do it. <laughs> nice. To put on TikTok or YouTube. <laughs> Well, I mean, baby, since you like gardening and everything so much, yeah. You love cooking. And you love sunflowers, so draw something with all of those that you like. Like what? Now is everybody going? Everybody's going. No. Oh, nice, the beach. Nice save. Girl, oh my god, too high. <laughs> oh! Oh. 
Oh, what is that? She just don't like the sea creature. <laughs> that too. Aww. <laughs> As a precious baby, oh my god! No way. <laughs> I mean, it makes the most sense for it to be the sunflower song. <laughs> Oh, dang. At least finish the song! It's a good song! Literally two of my best girls are in that song. Freaking Shin and Mika. What's up? Poor Alistair. <laughs> yes, please be careful. God, how are you?
course he had to me. <laughs> Not that good. Uh oh. Hmm. Hmm. Dessert pizza? There you go. Yeah, it's more dessert like. I mean, cause I think they also put what chocolate on it. That make me want pizza. Or at least pizza on Friday. Oh, that's so cute! Once again, they all so precious. They not kids. I, I don't produce them, but they precious as hell and I love them. I mean, you know, you think everybody would then call him Sunso? Now, are y'all sleeping there for the night? I mean, because I don't think buses run out that late. <laughs> Aww. Hope that happened to you guys. Damn. 
Well, it's big news, so it must be, you know, good. Yes, like. <laughs> I love that picture. I couldn't read all that. that. That was too small. Okay, this was cute. I think, you know, the last couple of weeks from episode two to this episode. And getting to learn more about these kids, I'm, I'm really happy that we finally got something. I mean, you know, once again, looking at the 26 episode series of Cinderella Girls, you only get to focus on a certain amount. Yes, like I remember me and my friend, we were having a conversation specifically about media. Media is the only one out of these girls who, well, media and Odyssey were the only two, maybe even Nina, but Nina didn't get a lot of focus, um, who were in the original series and such. And they got like a couple moments on them. Not really Odyssey, but more media because media had a focus-based episode in her series, also with the help featuring with Mika and such. And I thought they would have played into that role with this, especially because it was about her becoming a bigger sister and such. And they kind of did. Um... But I, I do like the way that they did it and such. But the one thing me and him were talking about was why he never talked, why, no, why media never really kind of talked about um, Uzuki or Mio or Rin or um, Rika or Kirarin or Anzu. I'm trying to think of more. Um, Chie, the rest of the girls in her, in the, in the group. And such, who were all, you know, with the producer from the original series and such. But I, I don't think we'll ever really truly get that answer. Like, once again, I love when we're finally getting the moments where all these girls from this series are interacting with each other in some way, shape, or form. But I do wish that they would kind of link a lot of things from the original series. Because, of course, this has to be taking place either a couple of months after the show or, like, a year or two after but because of the fact is the way they started it, there really is no answer on it, um, in my opinion and such. But I kind of think it's maybe like at least a couple of months after season two and the situation New Generations and such with the other girls coming in, including Adesu and a, a couple of others, Kanade and everything else. But I mean, yeah, I thought this was a really good episode for Kaoru. I love the fact that she is into cooking and everything. I mean... I even love the fact that they, with her SSR, um, for her synthesis, shows her with the tomato and how, because once again, the girl loves the heck out of cooking and eating and everything and music and stuff and being an idol. And I love that her, her outfit is like a cute little gardener. I think that suits her so freaking well. Like, oh my God. Um, 
just like I said last week for TAs and how her SSR was gorgeous, I, I knew going into this week I was going to talk about how Cowdews looked. I mean, it is, it's very different. I do love the fact that we're going now into SSRs that focus more on the girls' personalities and such because I feel like there are some that go that distance and then there are some that are don't. There's one, one that I am thinking of and you probably know who I am talking about. It's the one girl, she has two dis different SSRs. She loves costuming so freaking much. Um, and I always thought this girl was unvoiced until like a while ago. I think it was not a couple of years ago I found out that she does have a voice. Because she's in this um, one song with Mizuki and such. And she's in it. And I was like, oh, okay, when did you get a voice? But her costumes are like over the hill for them like top freaking notch in like a let's say abstract way she gives me lady gaga feel, feels without it truly going into the lady gaga territory because her first ssr is a tree and i don't have that card my friend he has the card and we <laughs> I remember we were talking about her first card and we were praying to the gods that we would never get the card and I think one time during either the anniversary or New Year's or whenever we got like a multiple 10 plus 1 free pulls and such and of course it's only between anniversary and New Year's and such or maybe one random day when we were getting single free pulls um and we would always show ourselves um show each other like what cards we got and such and hoping and praying that we get our best girls Kayere for me, Neil for him. And so, <laughs> I, I'm, I think I was at work or I was at home. Instantly texts me. He's like, Deja. I was like, what's wrong? <laughs> he was like, I got an SSR. I was like, oh, okay, okay, who? And, and he's still being trigger. And I was like, oh. I was like, no, oh my God. So she has an even greater costume where it, it's three of her and the costume from her first ssr her like there's like a little chibi version of her and she's running around on her new costume and i'm like girl if this is like this what the hell are your limited cards gonna look like i mean because like that's like okay eve uh, also, one, once again, congratulations, Eve Santa Claus, for getting this Cinderella girl this year. Thank God. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll say this as well. Kaede Peas, we definitely really did try our best. I, I still love the fact that Kaede made it to fourth. So hopefully next year we get her to first. We're just going to keep trying. That's all we can do. But congratulations to Eve. This is now going into another step where hopefully eventually in the end, all of the unvoiced girls eventually do get voices. Um, I do, because I only have one Eve card, and that is her very first limited card, and we'll never forget the day that happened, and we all thought, oh, it's a perm, and then we heard that it was a limited, and we were all like, what the heck is going on, but yeah, I really, like, Eve has, like, the, the mm, second gorgeous cards, I mean, everybody has gorgeous cards in a way, but I love her limb. Her bride card is very simple to me, but that's okay. Typically, you know how, like, since we are in June and that is the June bride month and such, that is when every, whoever gets bride cards, they're, like, the most gorgeous cards in the game. For a lot of people's opinion, not everybody. Um, two of my uh, best passion girls out of my three, which is Shin, Sane, and Mika, Sane and Mika both got Bride's cards. I think if I had to choose which one I loved more, it's more of Mika. And then Sane's like a close second because I really wanted like a dressy kind of elegant dress for Sane. And I have been trying to get that card for years. Um, I'm kind of hoping that like Kaede, Mizuki, nope, <laughs> wrong person. Kaede, Miu, and Shin kind of get one in the future. But who knows? The three, the current ones that just came out, um... No, that are still out currently as of right now. They are gorgeous, gorgeous cards. I, I really love when Idol Master Cinderella Girls really goes all in with the wedding cards or just any card in general. So it, it's just gorgeous. Like once again, you could take that art and I could blow that ish up and hang it up in my room. But like, yes, look at that. That is gorgeous. I, I need it. Like I am. Um, that's why one day I am praying 
Kayane gets a bride card. I really would have rather liked her get a bride card than the card that she has now. Do not, like, I'm not saying that is a bad thing. I do love her new card. I do, but I really pray one day. She gets a bright card. But yes, this was a cute little episode. I cannot believe we're already done with all the girls getting focused. So now the biggest thing, hopefully the big news, is that they're going to get a concert and a live for their fans to come. I'm guessing that's what it's going to be. But we ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 9 of the Idol Master Cinderella Girls Under 149. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 10. Bye, guys.